Portuguese. Well, I've been ready long before you came. <laughs> yeah, sir. In view of the stalemate of the Geneva Conference, do you foresee victory for blacks in Zimbabwe? And if so, in what manner? Well, the position really is this: that uh, Geneva itself was never an isolated issue. Geneva came as a result of the sacrifices of blood and sweat of the people of Zimbabwe assisted by the progressive world, so that if the pressures applied on the regime and those that support the regime are not sufficient, and they are not yet ready to come to terms with the reality of the situation in Zimbabwe, then there is only one course which our people have already followed, that is sacrificing their utmost uh, their lives to free their country. And uh, that would mean the re-intensification uh, of the armed struggle uh, in order uh, that those who want to continue to subjugate others uh, fully realize the implications of such action. It must be perfectly clear that uh, the failure of the, of the Geneva Conference, if, if it does come, it will not be because of the intransigence of the nationalists, of the freedom fighters, but it will be uh, the stubbornness of imperialism in Zimbabwe, which uh, Africa and, uh, has uh, pledged itself to support us in uprooting, not only in Zimbabwe, but in all parts where this uh, evil still lingers. So the position is perfectly clear on our side, uh, that is, uh, that we are not uh, bloodthirsty, we are not warmongers, but we cannot uh, continue to be humiliated and we cannot uh, stand by while our people continue to be exploited and oppressed by a minority who we have expressed quite openly that we are prepared to have them as part of the population of our country. Yes, sir. Um, at the Geneva Conference, it was widely reported that besides the four African delegates led by known leaders, the Zimbabwe People's Army, the Zaipa, also sent a delegation, an official delegation. How do you explain this situation? This is uh, surprising that I get this, com uh, this question from you, a young uh, journalist in Africa who should be aware of the true facts in, in the struggle in those areas where uh, we're still struggling. We have repeatedly made it perfectly known that ZIPA is not a, a, a separate unit. ZIPA is a part and parcel of, of, of the liberation movement, that is, of, 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 of ZAPU and ZANU. And because Imperial Express uh, made you people believe that ZIPA was a separate uh, entity, you, you continue to believe that uh, type of nonsense. I don't expect you, uh, young people, who should be in close touch with the situation to be uh, hoodwinked and, and misled by those who would like to see a fragmentation of the struggle of the people of Zimbabwe. Now I have here next to me Nikita, who is uh, one of the commanders of ZIPA, and the other is Nongo, and my young man here is part of the, of the, of the uh, 18 men, uh, council, uh, joint council of uh, Joint military command, and that is ZIPA. So there is no question of of, of ZIPA or ZIPA and then the, the Patriotic Front. And as you are saying that uh, Nikita here is another is a, is an uh, represent another entity. He represent an entity within us. It is the Patriotic Front, the overall political cover of ZIPA. It's assumed, sir, that your popular home base has been narrowly, considerably narrowed, with much of your support eroding as a result of your earlier negotiations with Smith. Do you think the has improved since that uh, last talk with Smith? Now, now, this is again another manif manifestation of imperialist propaganda, which you unfortunately seem to be suffering from. There has never, there never been time where the, my popularity in Zimbabwe has uh, waned. 
uh, my people knew what we were doing. We didn't just enter into those negotiations by ourselves. It was a question that was brought to us by our brothers, the, the, the heads of state of the frontline countries. But because of imperial propaganda, again, you're being led to believe that uh, uh, there is a period where uh, uh, popularity of the leaders of the, of, of the struggling peoples of the Zimbabwe has waned. Now, if you have any such belief, uh, please uh, do understand quite clearly that it is as a result of uh, imperialist propaganda aimed at, this, uh, at, at, at the fragmentation of the armed and other struggling in Zimbabwe. Okay. Um, last Sunday, sir, the British Prime Minister, James Carver, um, said that Britain could not revert to a colonial situation in Zimbabwe. Um, he said um, it has not um, been a British colony for many years, and therefore, um, apart from um, certain pointed responsibilities, the British government was not prepared to assume a colonial role. Um, what, uh, what is your opinion about this? Well, of course, you have these contradictions of terms, you know, used by men like Mr. Callaghan. I'm surprised that Mr. Callahan, a person who represents what is regarded uh, in Britain as a, a portion of, of, of uh, the British uh, uh, politicians who are uh, much more progressive, that he, he should uh, say, uh, make a statement of that nature. Southern Rhodesia has always been a colony of Britain, but because of uh, uh, terms aimed at uh, confusing issues, Britain will say uh, she, she is not the colonizer in, in, in Southern Rhodesia. Britain is the colonizer of Britain, and we have said in that capacity Britain must uh, decolonize. Now, of course, we do not want uh, a, a further uh, increase of British power, uh, but we, we say Britain must use the, pre the present uh, 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 link with her colony of Southern Rhodesia to decolonize, not to recolonize. And of course, we don't want them to, re they, to, to reinforce their uh, colonizing uh, forces in that country. What about uh, uh, the, the deadlock being on the key ministries? Now, you are talking about those people who accept the Kissinger package. We don't accept the Kissinger package. And therefore, the suggestion that the ministries of law and order and that of, of, of defense should be held by the regime doesn't uh, arise. It doesn't rise as far as we are concerned. What we are concerned with is to create a machinery for the transfer of power, and the question of ministries will be distributed by us uh, 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 and given to those who will better handle it. It's not that that question of the Kissinger uh, setup that doesn't arise as far as we're concerned. Um, our, our position is clear, my dear. We, we did not start uh, struggling against our, our oppressors uh, because uh, certain uh, powers wanted us to do that. We did it on our own, and what we seek in Zimbabwe is not an, uh, an, uh, an independence uh, uh, based on, uh, on a relationship with this world power or the other. It is, and it is, we are seeking here independence of our people uh, based on the, on, on the beliefs of our people. We have in the process uh, uh, got assistance from those who are willing to assist us. We have been assisted by the Eastern Bloc, uh, particularly the Soviet Union and uh, the other Eastern uh, 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 nations. At no time have these people said they wanted a, a part in the running of Zimbabwe.